Philosophy, Language Communication Studies, University of East Anglia, and a visiting professor at Southwest University, Chongqing. Dr. Bella da Silva Sinha is a British Academy Postdoctoral yeah. Research Fellow at the Department yeah. of Experimental Psychology, University of Oxford. She is editor of the International Journal of Language and Culture. So at the end of this lecture, we will have a little bit of Q&A. It was finished by uh, and of course Metacorius, Metacorius, and, and Dalton. Uh, Dalton. Life on Earth 
Well, they finished it up. Five out of five. To the diurnal and seasonal cycles, it's already got a lot of downloads. Talking about plants People animals, absolutely love this hack. Uh, think of reproductive cycles. This might be cycles the of best hack. Of birds and fish and Let so us begin. On. Hibernation of some animals the in the winter. And of course, the alternation of sleep and wakefulness uh, in many animals. So, human okay. beings and other organisms are often said to have a genetically determined biological clock whose mandate okay, cannot be ignored without detriment to health. All right, shoot. Oh, there but we go. that raises the question, sure. is there some kind of clock <laughs> that can you die? <laughs> Here's an answer from two very eminent no neurons. Okay. Uh, it would be unimaginable to perform contemporary neuroscience research oh, oh. without referring to spatial and temporal and units. What they mean by that is this is already this is already crazy. Okay. And Billy said, what a concept to start However, off. Declaring from such comparisons made an experiment that yeah. some brain region or mechanism represents this is why I didn't play this. space and time. Because this has, this has a lot of time to make it, you know what I'm another matter. I'm not going to like taint everyone. Studying transformation okay, so it gives us the items. Brain structures gives us the time we've played, or the percentage here. Concept of space or, time. or maybe that's the okay. overall percentage. So the situation and in our game time. is that Carlo Rovelli has shown that the, the variable T Oh shit! Time. It's not they have an option menu in. And Busaki and Tinker okay. are saying I hate there isn't really really something called T. What the hell's on spin? In the brain or or up so, where I don't is know what auto save is. Okay. Uh, before we go further, I'm curious. I want to introduce another 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 unless I need backflip on, I don't want it. But I didn't turn that off. Holy crazy! Because we can actually think about past and future. Now this is Not just proceeding humans, but also and some other by the following. Like apes and elephants appear to have episodic memories and as SUV well as learning crossing the the street and repertoires. That also says some corpses can anticipate search Windows at partial food locations without being cued. Okay, they just do it independently. 24 and, and some right. apes can not only remember episodes, like episodes of things that happen, but also use the in planning the sequence. Such mental time travel depends on how they need to get in force. Sounds as loud as that. This depends on having what he calls detached representation. I had no expectation. independent. And you and Funky to the police. I see you and I follow. Now, nothing. Okay, so we share Black. some kind of ability for mental time travel Spread with other out. species, but nothing in the animal Ooh, kingdom so remotely approaches the event of this situation. Capacity is for three year olds. Uh, these children can tell narratives of remembered, anticipated, or imagined. Imagine event sequences. They can use adverbs and, and other sources to locate events in time relative to the present. So our basic conclusion is it's event representation. The biological I haven't that done is key a thing to today. understanding both the human I'm language capacity and conceptualization of time. Oh, I didn't save the fucking... What I wonder doesn't so we ask where and what is Oh no, I made a mistake. Okay. Objects and, and events, right? Objects are often thought of as being located in space, and they endure perfectly in time. They have properties like mass and energy. Events are thought of as being located in time. That's what, that's well what it space, is. I mean, unless I need it, I, I don't really want to use it. Also, uh, tell me, I uh, I ran a new cable for my audio and I changed it with some uh, software compression that I have. Let me know if it's cutting through the uh, game audio well and it sounds good. And temporal landmarks are expressions such as today, yesterday, today, the 11th of April. Okay, so the thing is, it's loud, so but on my and of course there are temporal duration. On OBS, it's not even that loud. Time interval nouns. 
uh, hearing the hiss. Seconds, minutes, You're going to hear a hiss because I'm words and seasons I like really summer about that. and winter. I have and a uh, sound uh, noise gate on, which like short for duration. Very often, we use we go in many louder. languages I can go louder, spatial I can turn it down. for temporal relations. It's, it's because of, we say uh, things like, like uh, my birthday is around. coming up. Or, I am coming up to my birthday. Both of these we call passage metaphors because they are about the passage. Of if your TV is hissing, that means it's overheating. Yes, that's what it means. Okay, give me give me a second and I can try to fix this. One second. Five minutes later. Good enough. All right, let's go. There have been different conceptual schemas proposed to, uh, as being the way that we organize space-time metaphor uh, and uh, here is the most yeah, back to work. used one uh, which yes yeah, hopefully when the mic isn't uh, uh, doing some weird shit uh, hopefully we it sounds the good experience of moving along a mental timeline towards or away from an event often called moving ego uh, or we have an event moving towards or past oh, my, I'm pretty good along the mental timeline often called moving time uh, or sometimes moving event. Maybe it is in stressed out, you're schemas, right. the future is usually located in Little front out. of the experiencer. That is the case. Okay, how's that? Uh, English is that better? East and the past kind of experiencer. However, the converse schema is attested in Aymara, uh, uh, an Andean language, and also in ancient Greek and other languages. What about this room? Uh, and then I talk about a little bit about positional time, but we don't need to go into that. Uh, we can say that front back uh, construction, such as those using uh, Xian and Ho in uh, Chinese, are uh, usually positional time. And here is a diagrammatic representation of the moving ego and moving event schemas. Okay, in one case we have the ego. Which is which? Which is the dynamic center, which we call now, this moment, moving towards and perhaps past uh, the event in the future. All we have in the moving event. People think that they're really intense, but it couldn't be farther from the uh, 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 of the What the f Wait, Shadow Legend. Ego. Now we're going to go back a little bit. Stuff, like Can pretty we well think versed in like ROM hacks and stuff. Independently of space, it seems quite difficult for many of us to think about time without using such special metaphors. Six hours in game but time? Yeah, this, this is a long ass time. Newtonian time is absolute time, is a kind of cognitive universal. Well, some the average is about 75%. Do think so. And here is. Uh, 
I have something over uh, here. Uh, I want to connect Here is a quote from uh, an article. I will also start exploring. Uh, behavioral brain science. Like yeah, power bombs. Uh, actually, power bombs. from 2020. power bombs. I'm trying to make some mental notes here. They say, temporal time. reasoning operates with a four-dimensional picture of reality. In other words, the Cartesian uh, coordinates. Uh, uh, this is got uh, plus more. Time, which is exactly the way that you thought. On which everything that happens can be described by giving yeah, its no, location fine. and the time on which it happens. We assume that our description of this naive theory of time captures basic uh, we'll universal features. I'm trying to get that middle item, but I think that was asshole's door. And this includes well, maybe the notion maybe of time as well. linear. Well. Linearity is a universally basic feature. That's what they say. No, this is not a hard competition. The done, and I'm going to be. Uh, it's not. Check. Uh, right now, the prize pool is five thousand seven hundred five dollars. Space by itself. First place takes some, uh, twenty five hundred. Are doomed to fade away into mere shadows, and only a kind of will preserve their independent you know, reality. You catch my drift. Or Thirty. And that was, of course, space time. Space time. And then there was this other guy who you all know about, Benjamin Lee Wolf. And he, as you probably know, he did, he made his ideas. It's tough because I, I think I have a winner, but according to, like, when I did, when I'm doing my scoring and stuff, there are multiple times. And so I'm like, I need to go through the bottom axis and then, like, create a new material creating that has to do, like, maybe with, like, the overall power Because I can't really, like, justify taking
Dude, I wish I could just talk and rock my shit. Okay, so they show 9,000? Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, you know, I got a big tax and which has the same cyclic disruption of time. I don't understand your map exploring strategy. And here, Why not? If you don't know where to go, you just go. Is, uh, if, 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 if it's more open. Like, actually, I don't know if, like, I'm wrong if I... If I Psychologically real, productive, and profoundly entrenched in thought and language. Okay. Taste like a balloon, 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 taste like a balloon. Thank you. 
You didn't need to be reminded. Well, you forgot, so clearly you did. Part of Brazil and close by um, Brazil, Brazil, the neighbor to Brazil. And they are now well, three hundred and fifty people to live in the neighborhood. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah, I and thought that was. Um,